So inside of Microsoft Forms, what you can do is you can easily add in multiple choice questions. So to do that, you need to go around and click on the add new button right here to add in a new question. And once you do that, you can see that there's various choices of uh, questions like types that you can choose from. You can also expand this to get more option right here. But what we're going to focus on right here are choice questions. So if I were to go around and click right here, now you can see that I can simply go around and type in a question. As I click on it, you can go around and then type in whatever you want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to say, what is your favorite uh, operating system right here? So I'm just going to go around and say operating system. And I'm going to go around and uh, type in a question mark right here. I can also go around over here and select it and modify out the text according to how I like. So I can go around, change out the color for this and so forth. So you can format it out according to how you like and even add in a list right here. So you can go around over here and add in list if you want to as well. So just like with the description over here on the top, but I'm not going to add in any of this. So I'm just going to go around and over here, I'm going to say Microsoft Windows right here. And over here, I'm going to say Mac um, OS X. And then I'm going to go around, add in another option over here. So I'm just going to say Ubuntu right here. And I'm going to add in an option over here and say Android right here, just like this. So this is what I have right here. So I'm just going to add in a Linux over here, just like this as well. So you can see that these are the four choices that I have right here. I can also go around and add in another option so that people can uh, choose this and then they can go around and type this in as well. So right now, with this particular standard of multiple choice questions, the, the users, they can only select out one. Um, uh, they, uh, they can only select out one particular option. But if you want them to select out multiple options, then you can choose multiple answers over here as well. And you can set the limit to, let's say, for example, equal to right here to two choices and so forth as well, as you can see right here. So at most as uh, two choices, as you can see right here, you can go around and choose. So I'm just going to go around and say maximum two and multiple choices. And you can go around and preview this to see how that looks. And you can see that I can go around and choose two and everything else disappears. But if I were to uh, select others right here, you can type in whatever you want and submit it out as well. In the mobile phone view, you can see that there's a different view right here. So you can see the preview for computer and mobile phone right here. Let me just go around on to back right here. And this is what you have, as you can see. So if I were to click on it, I can go around and edit this further according to how I want right here. And I, I can add in more option as well. And you can also go around and add in options suggested right here. But PowerPoint and Word are not operating systems. So I'm just going to go around and then delete them out right there. And that is how you can go around and add in multiple choice questions inside of Microsoft Forms. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.